This week marks 20 years since the September 11th terror attacks. Ceremonies honoring the victims are set to take place in New York City, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon. The impact of that day is felt across America every day. For one Arkansan who's a survivor, it's important to continue talking about it. He's sharing his story so people will never forget. THV 11's Jay Jackson shares how a day at work 20 years ago changed his life forever. Reverend Stuart Hulk serves his congregation here at St. Mark's Episcopal Church, but it was 20 years ago on 9-11 that he served a group of survivors at another church outside the World Trade Center. Bam, 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 102 floors and that huge dust fall at 286 miles an hour began knocking out the clear stories atop beautiful Trinity Church. Reverend Stuart Hulk recounts his story of surviving 9-11. He was working for Trinity Church near the World Trade Center when American Airlines Flight 11 struck the North Tower that Tuesday morning. He, like so many, stood and watched until a friend warned him to leave. He broke through the crowd, grabbed me and said, run for your life. And it dawned on me I was in trouble. He remembers a lot of people running. Many of them ran into the church. And the organist and I ran in and did a, an extemporaneous, spontaneous service of singing hymns, reading scripture, saying prayers to a congregation of very, very frightened people. Some weren't looking for worship, but for safety until the North Tower fell. The organist said to me, Stuart, it's time you and I get the hell out of here. So we crossed the pedestrian bridge, went back to our church building where we had 150 day school students in the basement, ranging from six months old all the way to five. The notion that he was a survivor didn't hit him then, but stays with him now. What is the aftermath? of being a survivor of 9-11 been like? I think it, um, the body has memories, not necessarily the mind. At this time of year, I feel, always feel very vulnerable. He's even suffered from cancer because of the aftermath of that day, but also survived that, and he feels his job as a reverend is aligned with his experience. I feel like I've, uh, part of my mission has been to tell the story over and over again. I don't want anyone ever to forget this. Jade Jackson, THV 11 News.